So lately, I've been really thinking about whether system administration is the right track for me. If you're new to this channel, my name is Hanok. I am a system administrator based in Boston, Massachusetts. And I really got my start in the information technology field almost immediately after high school. Don't get me wrong. I, I like the career. I like the path. But lately, I've been yearning for more. I've been yearning for other things. And I haven't determined what the cause for that is. So in 2022, what I'm really hoping to do is make it a year of exploration. I've split my 2022 career goals in three different sections. So the first section will be system administration. So that's just what I'm doing now, but you know, adding more skills, solidifying existing skills. Uh, the second is career transition, kind of thinking about what else can I do uh, that's still related to system administration. So cloud administration, DevOps, project management, stuff like that. And the third section is transitioning out of my career. I'm not going to like quit system administration tomorrow. What I'm thinking about is building something that's going to be lasting for my lifetime rather than, you know, sticking to a nine to five. So I've narrowed it down to those three sections uh, specifically for 2022. And it's really going to be a year of just exploring, right? Um, kind of going after my curiosities, trying to figure out what does interest me, what doesn't, and uh, thinking about big pictures of like, what out of those things will give me a lot of freedom down in the future. So what are some of the specific goals that I have uh, within those three sections. So the first is system administration. So the main thing I really want to do here is master the basics. And when I say master the basics is like, I have a really good practical knowledge uh, of Linux and system administration. I feel like I lack in the conceptual side of things or, or theory side of things, especially in, in networking skills. So this year I want to delve into networking just enough to kind of solidify my existing knowledge and be able to be in those rooms where conversations about architecting and infrastructure conversations are happening. Another thing is scripting. So I do have some bash scripting under my belt, but I really want to become an expert or uh, even a SME in that kind of area, specifically with Python uh, rather than bash, just because learning Python will be a skill that I can apply to other parts of my goals for 2022. Another one is configuration management tool. So Ansible here is going to be a good one just because I've already kind of got my feet in there. So I want to uh, do a lot more work with that. So Ansible, you know, networking Linux and scripting with Python are things I want to focus on for system administration related um, goal. Uh, as far as career transition goals, there's really like four or five jobs that I'm kind of like exploring. Uh, first one is cloud administration. Uh, second one is DevOps, project management, web developer and help desk manager or, or just management in general. Except for web development, like these aren't kind of too crazy of uh, a career transition, right? Because a lot of the skills within system administration uh, overlap for cloud administration, DevOps, project management. And when I, when I say project management, I mean IT project management. So th those things I'm not too worried about. Learning those skills that I mentioned in the, in the first section will play a hand in these transitions. But I do want to explore, um, and I already am taking courses on, you know, AWS, uh, Azure, and, you know, learning Python will help me in the DevOps kind of side, uh, as well as configuration management tools. So, so you can see the overlap in these two sections. But once I have those skills, um, I, I'll have the option of uh, kind of transitioning in these roles uh, for the future. The third and, and last section of my 2020 career goals is transitioning out. This one kind of is a weird one because, you know, it's not an immediate thing that I'm trying to do. Like, I don't, I don't want like tomorrow to come and I just like quit my system administration job and work on something else. That's just not feasible. What I do want to do is build something that will pretty much gain me passive income. I'm a very big believer in, in building multiple uh, streams of income. That way in the future, I'll have all the freedom that I want. Uh, and this YouTube channel is one of those things. Very grateful for where we're at right now. I think we're at uh, like 1300 subscribers. I'm almost monetized. Thank you guys for those of you that are subscribed that have been supporting me since uh, the start. For those of you that haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go go click the button and subscribe and like the video while you're at it. Anyways, I'm brainstorming and then in 2022, I kind of want to explore other things that can add another stream of income. There's this channel, but I also want to 
potentially create another YouTube channel more focused on uh, personal life. I'm thinking about building a course. I'm thinking about business kind of thing. Whatever I build will stem from building an audience on YouTube. So 2020 will definitely be a time where I focus my energy on, on this YouTube channel um, and any other content that I create. But yeah, so those are the three sections of uh, my career goals that I, I'll be focusing on. I have a few more points that I do want to mention. Um, these are goals that are particularly not like specific to one section or, or cover broader sections. And, and the first one being networking. I've realized outside of the audience that I'm building here, I'm not really engaging with existing networks that I've built uh, throughout the year. So that's something I want to really focus on. Another thing that I'm kind of exploring, but it's like very in the back of my head is school. Really the only reason that I'm kind of considering that is because my existing employer does cover tuition. This would be a master's degree in something IT related. Not quite sure. I, I don't think I can go to school just to go to school, but if I find a program that really, you know, fits uh, my goals, then then uh, I think it's something that I might think about and explore. And in conjunction with school, the other thing that I'm thinking about is certifications. You know, I'm not a diehard lover of certification just because I, I didn't need one to get my foot into the door. It is very valuable, especially if you don't have a degree. And it's also valuable to, you know, study for a certification because it's a very guided way of learning the skills you need in IT. Having the paper by itself doesn't really mean anything because you still kind of have to show that your certification is a, like you got it because you know the stuff and not just because you memorized a bunch of stuff so this is usually done in the interview process or uh, it's done through the projects you've done in the past um, whether that's for work or outside of work even when you have a certification like if you can't show that you know your stuff it, it kind of loses its value in those cases. A lot of these goals will be displayed on this YouTube channel. You know, whether I, I'm learning something, I might document that journey, or after I learn it, I might just teach it on here. So you'll see a lot of those things um, on the channel. So those are my goals and interests and things that I'll be exploring in 2022. I hope you found some value in this video uh, and comment below what your hopes and goals are for 2022, specifically IT related or not, you know, life related. Uh, and until next time, peace.